6 2022 my fellow traders and daily stock chart watchers get a load off of this ym september 16th ec bot that's what it is and it's related to the dow jones and the futures are up 300 points now listen carefully everybody this is the dow futures they sold off miserably and what it implies is that if the futures are this way tomorrow night, up 311, because the futures will trade and then they'll shut down at 5 p.m. and they'll open back up at 6 p.m. Eastern Time daily. So they trade around the clock, except they'll take their one hour break, then they'll reopen at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's make that clear. But right now, if we were... Uh, we are up 313 points in those uh, uh, Dow Jones futures. That's what we call them because that's what it's related to. And it's related to the diamonds too. So let's take a look at the diamonds on a daily chart. Diamonds are down at the bottom right now. So what does that imply? What the YM gapping up 348 points, 339, and all of these futures that are gapping up and our U.S. markets are closed, but you have the European people that trade futures, and they trade equities, they buy things, and that is given that rally. It is time for a summer rally, everybody. So they just spiked those futures to 349, dropped them 25 points. But remember, this is today's calendar day of 620. That started yesterday at 6 p.m. last night. Okay. So. Let's just hope that this rally. That we are long overdue. And hopefully we can get the three day rally. Or a five day rally. I'll let you know every step of the way. That's what we do best. Sign up for that free five day trial. Don't get left behind. This could be a once in a lifetime buying opportunity. You just don't know. You let the math. The math doesn't lie. We developed the trading apps for the futures market, the YM. That's a September 16th contract. That's exactly what it is. And so that is the mini size Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay. So it's related to the Dow. And with that up here at 300 points, we haven't had a really good, strong hardcore gap up in these futures now i will update them again tonight if this rally in these futures fade at the 6 p.m eastern standard time opening bell that is so let us not forget that the main key objective is to identify the trend using the futures as your gauge and your monitoring system because equities go up, they gap up, open higher. Or if futures go down, they gap open down lower. We know that. Right now, I'm simply walking you through the process of what I am witnessing right now on the daily chart, on the futures daily chart. That's what this is right up here. Okay, it tells you YM September 16th. Dow Jones Industrial Average E-mini, okay? And when the E-minis go up, then if I give you a daily chart on the Dow, that is a doji. That is a daily doji. And that means that that would gap up above there just like that doji gap below it. Well, you get another doji that gaps up. That will be resistance. And that is how the trade management will work. So, let's go back to the YM, and we're pulling back a little bit. They're still up 292 points. Now, that's how these futures markets are trading. We do have a futures market training program that we will train you how to use futures and how to gauge them with your equities and your option trades. Because if you're trading options, you need to know how the futures markets work. No matter what, you're never going to get around it. You'll come to a point at some point, you got to learn how to use the futures as your barometer. And your gap open up and your gap open down. So once again, let's just hope, everybody, 
that this will continue on the Dow Jones Industrial Average E-mini futures contract at 6 p.m. Eastern. Right now, we are up, and we are up 301 points. I shot it up to 349.